Thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate it. There's a few things you can do to help us out. First of all, click the link below. And then if you just subscribe to our channel, and then also if you'd select the bell that's on the right. And when you select the bell, if you would select the word all, when you select the word all, you'll receive notifications each time we post a new video. But always remember at the end of the video, click the link below. Thank you. First thing we have to do is have click funnels on, and then we select the build a funnel, and then we have to decide what kind of funnel we're going to do. Are we going to collect an email, sell a product, host a webinar? We're going to choose the collect emails. Then we have to give this funnel a name. Well, I already have some funnels in a series that uh, we'll just do number six of this series. And so that's what the name is going to be. And we don't really need to give it a tag. And we'll go ahead and build the funnel. And uh, then on the page, you get an opt-in page. And you also get a thank you page. And you have a lot of uh, templates that you can use. You can scroll down through these templates and you can decide, well, what kind of funnel do I want if I want to use a template? Uh, so there's just lots of uh, pre-made templates that you can select. I usually go to the bottom and then I select a template that has nothing on it. So it's a blank template. Therefore, I have a blank canvas that I can build off of. And so um, even though a lot of these templates have a purpose, my purpose is I'd rather just start with a, a, a blank opt-in page. Okay, so we're going to do an opt-in page. Uh, we're not going to do the thank you page today. So the first thing you do is you, you come in and then we're going to edit the page. Now, once we're on this page, then we give it a header. Um, I'm giving it a header here. That's actually the wrong spot for where I'm going to put my header later on. I'm going to make this change later on, but uh, I'll show you how to fix a mistake um, towards the end of the video. Um, but as you'll see the cursor pointing around, you'll see all these different uh, colors come up and each of the colors has a different um, item that it can do. So we're going to add two columns below where we had the beginning of the page. So we're going to add another element here. And I believe I wanted to add an image once again. Um, I'm going to come back and delete that because that's not really where I want that image. But here we're going to add a video. In this video, we're going to put in a YouTube link because we're going to play one of Anthony's YouTubes that he has on his uh, uh, YouTube channel, but we're going to embed it inside of uh, our page. And so we just have to grab the link and put it in where it says YouTube URL. We'll turn autoplay to on so that uh, when somebody comes to this page, the uh, video will start. Um, you won't hear any noise itself, but the uh, person can click the speaker and then they'll hear what Anthony's talking about. 
you can change the backgrounds and the colors and things like that that go around the YouTube with the uh, panel on the on the right. You just click the gear and that's what changes things. <coughs> Here I'm the testing out to see if the YouTube building is working. And I'm going to show you how fine. right now. Hey, hey, what's up? Anthony Morrison here, and welcome to another digital market. Now we're going to add another element. This is about the sweetest kind of programming you can ever do. I'm really just adding a filler here, so I'm going just to delete this uh, text here because I just want a filler line. So that the next thing that I add um, is going to be an image. And in this image, I'm going to uh, put my face on here. So in the settings, we'll go over here. We'll select an image. And from my small image library, we'll select me. And then that image is just way too large. So we're going to go and we're going to change the size of that image by telling it to restrict it to a certain pixel size. That's still a little large. So we'll, we'll even restrict it further. That's about right. That'll do. Now you can also add um, a little uh, background to it, put a frame on it, and you also do it here in the, the settings on the side. Um, you can also lower the picture, which I want it lowered, by giving it a different top margin. The right hand, when it goes up to the top where you can't see it, it's just going up to the top and hitting a save button. I've added a bullet list here. And uh, the bullet list, yeah, we're going to change the text in there. And um, that text will um, reflect uh, four lines about myself, so people will know that uh, I'm in the partner with Anthony program, and uh, either, you know how I feel about the program itself. Okay, I've moved uh, the photo over to the left where it aligns better with the uh, bullet list. I'm going to save it all again. Don't want to lose the work. Got a little edge on the uh, image now. And now we're going to come over and we're going to add a new element which will collect uh, email IDs because we're bringing people to this page uh, really to collect email IDs and also at the end when we click uh, when we hit the submit button to send them to a video uh, where Anthony will have an opportunity to tell people about the Partner with Anthony program. So over here we tell them the input type is an email address and then we could change the text that is inside, but I think it's fine. It, it indicates, put your email address in here. Now we're going to add the, the, the button. And we're going to change the uh, text on the, the button.
say that's partner with Anthony. And the subtext, we'll change the subtext on it to sign up. We'll change the shape of the button so it's a oval at either end. And now we have to give that button some place to go. So this link here is where uh, it will take our, the people that click on this button, it will take them to another screen um, where uh, there is about a, a seven to 10 minute message from Anthony. We're going to test that out right now. And sure enough, this is the message that uh, Anthony will then um, tell him about how he made uh, significant money and how he's willing to help other people learn how to do it. Here I decide, well, I really don't like this header here, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to add a headline, which is a thicker font. And so we're going to change this to how I earn 25K a month. And this how I earn 25K a month uh, refers to what's inside the video on the page. change the color of this text to blue to kind of match the uh, color of the, the box around the TV. Then we're going to put an image in here, and this is going to be a uh, an image of a uh, partner with Anthony and has Anthony uh, teaching. And then we'll put a little uh, box around it. Just testing it out to make sure it looks good. Now we have uh, one more thing to do. We're going to add a, a timer to the page. And uh, this timer is kind of a countdown, um, and it encourages people coming to the page to um, make a decision to either go on or, or get off the page. And so we'll give 14 minutes. The uh, video runs inside this box for 11 minutes, but uh, we'll give them 14 minutes to uh, stay on the page and uh, make a decision whether they want to uh, sign up and, and then go on and uh, look at Anthony's uh, uh, much larger, uh, with a lot more information in the video page, or if they just want to leave this page altogether. We save that. And then if we come down here, you'll see that it's already running. It's 13 minutes, 50 seconds left. 
and uh, that's all the that's all the polish there is. That's that's what we wanted to accomplish. And now you see how you build a ClickFunnels page. It's very easy. There's uh, no real uh, coding that you do. You just select different kinds of of um, boxes and um, buttons, timers, images, uh, what kind of text you want, is it bulleted text. Um, you just need to plan a little bit. Are you going to have, uh, what kind of information are you going to collect? In this case, we collected uh, email address. And um, so you've got your email address and then you have a submit button that takes you to another location. So that's all the planning there was here. And then I used a link so that uh, Anthony could explain, give something to people. He actually is giving them information in this video about how to earn $25,000 a year. It didn't cost him anything to come to that video. So um, we always try to give uh, our viewers something uh, in return that gets, gets them the opportunity to come here to learn how to build their online business. And so um, that's, that's our mission. And uh, I appreciate you coming here today and watching us how to build this uh, page in ClickFunnels.